for Jacques Villeneuve. The team says he's suffering headaches after his Hockenheim shunt and has stood him down, maybe for good. Robert Kubitz is already impressed here in Hungary as he steps up from his usual testing role, but will he get the drive for full time in 2007? Renault. Thought he might do a little bit better than that in qualifying. Kubica, ninth place on his debut for in Formula One driving for BMW. Away they go, look for Barrichello accelerating, Massa is slow away, Raikkonen's had a good start, and Massa is being attacked by De La Rosa as they run down four abreast in the first corner, Massa's already lost two places, look at Barrichello up into second place then, Micah is he's up in fifth or sixth place, what a phenomenal start, Schumacher. Coming down towards turn two, De La Rosa has a look down the inside of Rubens Barrichello, Schumacher is right up there with Fisichella. Alonso's in the middle of a huge sandwich. On board with Alonso. Looks like one of the... Williams was going around the outside there. He's had a very solid start and is keeping in touch with the front two. Oh, there's a spin now. I think that's Kubica. BMW goes right round. And, uh, well, he was lying in eighth place, but he's now dropped down behind Liuzzi. Trulli goes past him as well, so he's out of the top ten. He's out of the top 15, even. There he goes. Yeah, as we see, he's just... Uh Clipped the curb there around turn seven, uh, just spun the car yeah, around one, and uh, he's never been there. So I think this would be maybe the very first time he's driven a Formula One car in the full wet conditions. Slippery, just look at it. Watch the work on the steering wheel, watch the opposite lock as the car starts to slide at the back with the drivers turning in to control that slide. Even at low speed, it's treacherous. Jensen Button has passed Felipe Massa and Giancarlo Fisichella. Unseen by us, Jensen Button is moved up into fifth place, he's looking strong here. Alonso, the fastest man on the track, just sets the fastest lap of the race. 131.1, three tenths of a second faster than Kimi Raikkonen, and he's pegging this has game. a go down the inside of Scott Speed, who defends it well, um, turn two, and I think that's uh, Robert Kubica behind them as well. After his spin, he's stuck behind the slower cars, and he's really fighting to get past Tuli now, who who is focusing so hard on trying to get past the car in front as that is a good move round the outside and truly fairly gives him room. Um, it's, it's, uh, obviously the Bridgestones are struggling in, the, in these conditions it seems. Yeah, Scott Speed had managed to pass Jano Trulli and now uh, Robert Kubica has done the same thing. Antonio Liuzzi, teammate to Scott Speed, is going to have a go as well. Ted Kravitz, what have you got? Yeah, and none of the Bridgestones are struggling. Yeah, BMW, Sauber spin as well. Uh, that's again Robert Kubica and uh, the front nose is off of that as well. So he's going to need to come into the pits and uh, a similar pit stop as what Michael had to do with a nose change. Um, yeah, this is, this is really getting tough for the drivers out there now. The track conditions are obviously really treacherous. Just looking out of the window of the commentary box, we've got rain Behind. drilling. Giancarlo Fisichella, we're being told, is out of it, out of the race. Kubica has now, uh, well, we saw that before, knocked his nose cone off. And this is uh, not the ideal circumstances to make your first ever Formula One pit stop when uh, you don't expect to necessarily change your nose first time you do a stop, but there we are. And uh, I'm doing, being told that Fisichella is uh, out of Maybe this. to come in and do a pit stop. But Jensen's actually done a 32.9, the fastest lap of the race. And uh, so, yeah, that's good for Jensen. But uh, still, that was that was pretty strange what Alonso was doing there. Barrichello goes across the line, waving his fist angrily at the cars in front of him. They are a lap down on him. It's a tremendous scrap going on here between Kubica and Ralf Schumacher. This is the battle for ninth place, but Rubens Barrichello is behind them, and he's very angry indeed because he's losing time to Pedro de la Rosa. Kubica is in front of Ralf Schumacher in ninth place. Ralf is in tenth, but it's uh, Barrichello who's pretty angry about all of this. Massa is in front of them as well. They should get out of Rubens' way. Goodman, here's Felipe Massa in a points paying position here in eighth, coming under pressure from Robert Kubica, making his Formula One debut here this weekend for BMW Sauber. His teammate Nick Heidfeld is in fifth place. Kubica has already had two spins this afternoon, one of which he took off the nose cone of the car. It's been eventful, but he's fighting his way back into contention here. Well, Fernando Alonso had a bizarre couple of laps. He seemed to go very slow as Kubica lets Barrichello through and there and lost three seconds in one lap and then he is next Kubica now all over the back of uh, Massa Massa gives him room that was fair and Kubica dives through and on his debut he is now in a points paying position the first Polish driver ever in Formula One is in the points yeah it was a good clean move there uh, by Robert Kubica and uh, down the inside of Massa called him sleeping a bit I feel he didn't feel like he could come down the inside that soon in the corner 
and uh, yeah, a nice easy move. He had the grip on the inside. Um, you could see the car was just starting to bounce there because it was so grippy. And there you see it again. New over this the year, new team this year, their first podium. There's his teammate Robert Kubica who started in front of him on the grid but had a couple of spins. But nevertheless, on his debut, Kubica gets two world championship points. So another moment of history there. First Polish driver and a real star of the future. There he is just taking his helmet off. Well, chief mechanic.